Hello and welcome back to Three Monkey Spark again, where we have finished it with a big ass margin, but <laughs> we came from nowhere really. As only two months before our deadline, we were still short 150 guests in Lurk. <laughs> right now we're 380 above. So in two months' time, we made, uh, well, uh, I'm just gonna look bad. I think 500 guests or so. <laughs> I don't know, man, but we made a bajillion in just two months' time. I mean, that means that over here, yeah, look, there was a constant line of guests just coming into our park, which is good because we made it that way. But it was a bit sloppy and a bit uh, frantic, and um, yeah. I generally did not like the way those last two months went really. It was do or die for us and we did it, but I don't think, at least for me, it's not repeat worthy. So with those lessons learned now, however, um, I think it's time to chill off a bit and uh, do the scenery. Because look, we have this massive wall over here. We built during this park. but there's just only a wall and we can do a lot more with that and make it look really cool and also there is um, these two coasters over here and this one as well which I mean look at the path man this is a disaster this is anything but an elegant solution so my idea was to remove this and redo it but then better so uh, yeah enjoy a time lapse with a nice music
Alright, so I hope you enjoyed it and look what we did. I think uh, the whole scenery theming has become quite apparent now. And if it has not, then uh, take a look again. Because uh, this over here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gardens of Eden. Or at least uh, that was the uh, idea of it. What? <laughs> we got an award for the best stuff. <laughs> That's pretty uh, cool. Anyway, um, this is uh, the Epic Gardens of Eden, where death and destruction and graveyards are on the outside. Um, look, graveyards. Look, graveyards. And inside, there's trees, flowers, happy colors. And on the outside, there's black, death. Plague. Oh wait, they're the same. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, grim and grey colours and stuff. And uh, on the inside, things are bustling and theming with life. Although I must say that all the good stuff lies in the well, dead zone. <laughs> I think we should could call it that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and um, that's another thing we did. Uh, two coasters. Now this here is a steel mini one, and I must say. I think the track is pretty damn cool, however it's not all that well rated and I think the reason for that is that it does not go underground. However, it's brother over here, look, it is freaking awesome rated and it has some pretty cool track designs too. Uh, but they're not in sync, I just built the stations close to each other, but they're not in sync or... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Do you see all this, all these trains? Oh man, that was just epic. Anyway, um, a park which we learned a few valuable lessons from. And in the end, I must say, I really like this park. How it turned out right now. Oh, and you know what? I see that I've got a really important thing. Fountains. Yeah. So, um, let's take a look at the park from this view here, yeah, a bit zoomed out and if we zoom out even further yeah look at it man now this whole scenery garden of Eden the thingy becomes really apparent look at all these grim and grey coasters look at the lovely inside over here yeah so um, that's it three monkeys park totally finished and totally done so uh, join me next time when we will do the next park.